Marvel's Inhumans are big because they're on those big, awesome IMAX screens right now. Yes, on Thwip, the, the Big, big Marvel, Marvel Show. Show. Hey, I'm Ryan. Hey, I'm James, not oh, Lorraine. You sure? I'm pretty sure. Mm. Feel me. Does that feel like James? Or is it feel like know. Lorraine? I'm so confused. Is your hand? Your hand's kind of cold. I still think you're Lorraine. But <laughs> Marvel's and Humans is in IMAX right now, and it's soon going to be doing its awesome run on ABC. So what are you most excited about, Ryan, with the Inhumans? Is there a special character who tickles your fancy? Um, I love Maximus. He yeah. can tickle my fancy. But really, I want more Lockjaw. More Lockjaw. Lockjaw all the time. Then you so can tickle cool. his fancy. Yeah, scratch behind his ears, get, and belly rubs. Yeah, and you just get slobber all over your face, all that Lockjaw slobber. Uh, that's the dream. Uh, Boy can dream. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm super stoked about uh, Medusa over here. Just because yeah. she got all that hair, she'd be whipping out all around, and she would like tickle Lockjaw with her hair. She'd be like, I got you, Lockjaw! I got you! <laughs> that is an interesting interpretation of Medusa. I'm um, pretty sure it's, uh, I, I nailed it. Yes. Pretty sure. I'll do the voiceover for Medusa. Uh, where is Lorraine Lorraine? Yeah, Lorraine Lorraine, not me Lorraine, but Lorraine Lorraine, she's actually off on assignment. Okay. So Lockjaw, here's the story. Lockjaw came by, teleported, picked her up, went over to Hawaii, and she's hanging out with the Inhumans right now. Hey Marvelites, Lorraine Sink here in Hawaii, home of Marvel's Inhumans, lovely lush locales, and our production set for Atalon. Let's take a look. versus most families. I think, uh, you know, royalty is just a title. It's not necessarily a, uh, a way of life. Um, I think there's lots of dimensions. We are happy, we're sad, we're angry, we're... So still awkward Thanksgivings, like Very everyone. awkward Thanksgivings. We had a scene where literally our cast had to eat tofu for 16 hours. Sounds um, awkward. <laughs> yeah, it was, it, was, it was lovely. It was, it was a lovely dinner. Um, but I think... That's what makes the Inhumans so interesting, is the fact that we are, we have the regular family dynamics, but with superpowers. The brother dynamic is, 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 a, is a fun one. Fraught, maybe? Yeah. And then in the Karnak, Gorgon, that's, that I always enjoy watching those scenes play out. And they sort of, they're like, I think they're like the Vladimir and Estragon of the comic book world. <laughs> you know, one's looking up here, the one, one's looking down here. I think, well, Black Bolt certainly, he's very loyal to him and he listens to him um, and he's his big brother. And the reason that Maximus isn't down the mines is because of him, so he's very grateful to that. Maximus is a very ambitious young man. He also sees a lot of injustice in the world in Atalan. So he kind of wants things to change. He feels that um, the, the, the caste system which the Inhumans live in, based on your, what power you get through your terogenesis, um, is, is wrong and he believes that everyone should be free. So he thinks that the, it's, a, it's sort of like a dated, a dated sort of political system. From the moment I found out that I was her, I, it was one of those things that, first off, you're very excited. You're like, okay, this is great, it's amazing. And then you start to look at her and you're like, Okay, that's a lot of hair, and that hair does stuff. Okay, like what kind of stuff? Like everyday stuff? Oh, it fights, and it does, like, it, it, the beauty of, of Medusa is that she's so multifaceted. She has, um, like on one side, she's very kick-ass. She's very tough. There's this, um, for a very codependent relationship, obviously because with right. Black Bolt not being able to speak, um, they both remain very independent. She was the only one that was brave enough to walk into a room where with one breath he could kill her. And from 14, they build this language together. So there's this like, there's this bond between them. And so she really knows how he's feeling. And it's wonderful to see kind of when she speaks for him, when she kind of cuts a corner or when she kind of like rephrases or how, so she's, she's definitely become a little more political because he's still, you know, when you can't speak, you're a little more to the point and yeah. rough and gruff and all of that. So I don't know if I necessarily say that she is, would be the best ruler. I think together they make a pretty phenomenal pair. And I know we're gonna get into some cool stuff this season. So we have a quick game, okay. if you're game. Yeah. Uh, this is called Inhuman HR. 
I'm going to give you some job descriptions, and you're going to say which inhuman you think would be best for the job, just like uh, the head of HR. A tour guide. Uh, Karnak, because nothing would ever go wrong, because he sees the flaw in everything. So of course, it'd be Karnak. I mean, it'd be a very depressing one, because he'd be like, here's a volcano, and in 45 years, it's going to erupt and kill everyone. I think my brother would be excellent. Maximus, take people I think, around. I think he would know where all the underground Hot tips places are. are you could go to get in trouble. A lifeguard. A lifeguard, definitely Triton. I oh, think right. he'd probably be the best for that, <laughs> having gills and stuff. Dog walker. Crystal, because she has lockjaw. Oh, no. I kind of want to say me because I miss my dog, but oh. I'll, uh, I'll give it to Crystal. Food truck purveyor. <laughs> <laughs> Karnak. <laughs> He's good at a lot of jobs, I he think. He is. Like. I, you can't, it's hard to go wrong with Karnak in anything. He's a perfect advisor for you. Gorgon, because he eats so much. Oh, yeah. But I feel like he wouldn't necessarily be great to like run it, because he, he would always be out of food. Always. A librarian. Karnak. Oh, Karnak, yeah, so smart. Yeah, he's, uh, he's perfect. Yeah. And he's quiet. <laughs> I think Black Bolt, because he can't speak, and you're supposed to be quiet in, yeah. in a library. Just don't get shushed. Right, exactly, yeah. But see, that's the thing, you would, you would be quiet if Black Bolt was the librarian, because if he goes, shh, you're dead. A hairdresser. Medusa. Yeah. Because she could do loads of that at the same time with her hair. Yeah, she could do She's hair with her She's not limited to just one pair of scissors. <laughs> she could use loads. I would like to watch that, actually. Yeah. I'm going to say Karnak. Ooh, yeah. He would give you a nice, close shave on your head, maybe. <laughs> and finally, the queen of the Inhumans. I feel like that question was just set up for me. I would have to say Medusa. <laughs> yeah, you would. Right? Imagine <laughs> if I gave that to somebody else. And, of course, king of the Inhumans. Who is the best king for the Inhumans? There are days I think Black Bolt would say Medusa. <laughs> Ooh, I like that answer. That sounds like a good husband right there. <laughs> yeah. Maximus. Well, there you have it. You guys watch Marvel's The Inhumans on ABC or in IMAX theaters. And now it's time for Social Hour. Here at Social Hour, we take your YouTube <laughs> comments and your tweets and we read them out loud. Yeah, we have a whole bunch uh, replying to our episode last week. We were at Funko HQ. And just a little note, this pop right here. This Funko Pop is available exclusively at HotTopic.com and Hot Topic stores. And this 5-inch Lockjaw plush is also coming soon to Hot Topic. Ooh. Super cool. But to the comments, a bunch of them on YouTube. Marvel and DC Fan 101 says, my favorite Funko Pop from the episode was Dr. Octopus. Awesome. Zuzana Susha loves Lorraine's dress. She's working it out. Roland Hernandez uh, thinks Claire Temple deserves a Funko Pop figure. True. Uh, Cullen Bloodstone loves all the Funko figures. They are so adorable and well done. Hoping for Wasp to have one soon. Mm. And Xander PS210, he also wants a Wasp Funko Pop. Mm. But more importantly, Xander says, I would probably buy a Lorraine and Ryan Funko Pack. Uh, well, I, well, we want you guys to get involved in the conversation so you can hashtag Marvel Thwip uh, and let us know uh, who are you most excited about seeing in the Inhumans. You can check it out now on IMAX. And uh, let us know. Right? Yeah, and of course, Marvels and Humans is coming to ABC on yes. Friday, so tune into that. It's going to be awesome. So many ways to catch it. Yeah. Like, like no excuse. September 29th. Be there or be a cup. A cup. Hey, you can subscribe to us right over here. And if you like us, what you do, like us right down here. Yeah, or you can watch the last episode right over there. Oh. James, yeah. if you went through Terra Genesis, what would your Inhuman power be? It would probably be to make really loud, obnoxious noises. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>